going to be through the roof. They literally just played a five game set against Fusion Uni just 30 minutes ago. So this, this is a first to four. So it is going to be exactly the same as we saw from the other game. But this is also our first cross divisional play all season. And so Atlanta Academy are representing North America West Gladiators Union representing North America East. I know that's a little awkward to hear, but that is exactly what we're seeing right now. And something I'm excited to see is Sugar Free on this Vera. When we saw him on that a little earlier today, not as good as it was yesterday, but he has a Gladiators Fly free, my pretty bird. Sugar free here. Just playing keep away for Gladiators Legion. Dalton, though, is an extremely capable McCree. So now Gladiators Legion have made the appropriate changes. Gonna be charging back in here. That six shooter, not just good for doinking birds out of the air, but very good at shredding those shields as well. But you can't do it when you're six feet under. Your job is to take the Farrah down, not for the Farrah to take you down. So already Atlanta Academy starting off on the right foot. Gladiators Legion are going to lose out on that cap. They're going to lose out on about at least 30 to 40% before they're able to keep what's more. You could see that Dalton got onto that left side of the point. He was looking for targets, but... Atlanta Academy running just a single tank. Didn't really have any, you know, targets readily available for Dalton to hit. And so Gladiators Legion, again, have to make a pretty difficult engagement onto the point. Rolf already chunked down so low. You don't want that Zenyatta to go down early. Not only are you losing out on that healing, but Rolf is a certified fragger as well. Sugar Free also got that certification in at fragging from Overwatch University. And now the concussive grenade is actually going to group them all together. There is a rocket barrage up the ready for Atlanta Academy as well. So once they do come through this choke, you can expect this rocket barrage to go through. But I'm pretty sure that Gladiators are also expecting that barrage. Yeah, uh, if Saucy expended that pulse bomb, poor Wolf, this Zen just cannot catch a break. If it's not a far, it's a tracer on the ground bombing you into oblivion. Hawk also very close with this EMP, so even when Gladiator's Legion do get onto the point, they might not have a chance to use any of their abilities. Uh, Gator needing to use that personal shield to get away was taken pretty low, below half health, but Atlanta Academy still feels amazing about their chances of holding here at 82% with an EMP in hand. If the EMP goes through and it works out, the barrage will as well as Rolf's gonna get that final blow. Bunny Astro has to get this res off if Atlanta Academy wants to grab this point right here. Maybe not. Maybe Bunny Astro can just let Sugar Free spawn the regular way because they already have a numbers advantage and they have that d neck as well. This might be an easy 100-0 for Atlanta Academy. Dalton trying to change things around, but Sugar Free will be back with the barrage in no time. Oh, and there he goes. Justice rains down. Poor Water didn't bring an umbrella here. He was prepared for the clouds, but not for all of those rockets. 99% now for Atlanta Academy. Gladiators Legion scattered, trying desperately to find any kind of kill. EMP comes just a second too late. The Transcendence did beat it out. Some good kind of heads up play coming from Gladiators Legion. Funny Astro gonna get the res. Hawk already used the EMP and somehow Sugar Freeze also gonna kill himself in the process. So this is the first opening and first point take for Gladiators Legion on the objective. And they finally do take it, but are they gonna be able to win every fight from here on out? That's a really difficult thing. Oh no, especially because Dude actually goes down to the mine. So that means that Gladiator's Legion not going to have that AOE healing or the potential for that sound barrier. Luckily though, Atlanta Academy themselves have made wholesale swaps. So they will not have really oh. any- Oh, but they sneak the point. Ultimates don't matter when you control the objective. Oh my goodness. That is a mental lapse coming from Gladiator's Legion. I think maybe a little bit of fatigue is starting to show. Panker gets purple, but Bijou once again, being a hero, gonna get that pick, but there's more picks coming from Atlanta Academy. Will Water be able to even up the numbers? He does have that one shot, one kill potential. He misses the Reinhardt and gets charged. Good stuff coming from a Gator in that situation because he can't freak out and just throw the hammer, but because of that recharge that you kind of need after that rocket punch, reorient yourself, the charge comes through. Gator will almost win this first team. Oh, Bird also repping that Doomfist. You know, we, we got a taste of that just yesterday. You know, guys, just a you know, support player that's actually a DPS player. 
on the inside. Guy, he, he got those two kills on Soldier 76 a little earlier today. He got, he, he, he beat speedily, I think, a couple times yesterday on the Doomfist, on the Doomfist, 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 Doomfist matchup, right? And so, I mean, it's, it's 2019, don't let him box you in, man. Jester, main tank, best widow, NA, who, who can tell you what to be, right? Real best hit scan main tank in North America, <laughs> right? Anything can happen. Gladiators Legion looking at their own Doomfist, and this is not, so, you know, Doofus is something that we have seen in, in the past in North America. It has not been as successful. And then in some other regions like China, they haven't really been able to get it work just yet. So we aren't going to see those Doofus. We're just going to see regular old goats. Goats? Totes my goats right here. Don't know what to order at a restaurant? Just go goats. Still a very, very good and consistent composition here where the battle for Gator. the point. Oh, Gator, though. Yes, the armor pack just in time, but all of Atlanta Academy scattered and low. However, it's Panker who falls first. Oh, there was just a lack of focus coming in from Gladiator's Legion. They saw that Gator was low, but half of them decided to keep going, and then the other half are trying to pepper it to damage other places. Gladiator's Legion are going to fall behind in this fight. They had ample opportunity to potentially pick Gator off, but... Alas, it did not happen. It was almost as if Gator, Hawk, and Saucy were baked for Gladiator's Legion. They got so low that Gladiator's Legion kind of tunneled into finishing off that Rhine. And Gator is certainly a big part of this Atlanta roster, but you have to be keeping an eye on your own main tank. Now Gator's going to have a big advantage in this next fight. Not only will Sugar Pea be able to rally for him, he's so close to that Earth Shatter. Rally's going to be used both in an offensive manner. Damage mitigation going on for both sides. Saucy he does have to grab a concert, and so does Dalton. Transcend is only available for one team in the Gladiator's Legion. And so, Atlanta Academy needs her to grab, get the Transcend to time, and he does not. So this is going to be an easier fight for Gladiator's Legion off the objective. But Astro investing the sound barrier, I think, trying to save his team, but it has evened up. Atlanta Academy getting another pick. This is almost like what Houston University were doing with Gladiator's Legion last game. And Gladiator's Legion would get an opening pick and then get picked off themselves, unable to push that advantage they're going to find themselves in another advantageous fight because Saucy has gone down we all know the statistics seven percent let's see if the statistics will ring true for Atlanta Academy I mean it might not matter here Atlanta Academy still own the point and now Gator does have that shatter in hand is he going to rock the earth with it oh, oh huge shatter coming in from Atlanta Academy four members do get stunned out the sound barrier is going to be unavailable for water but the rest of Gladiators need to get up and they come back with the plan Atlanta Academy are going to have to try to Take this point after Gladiator's Legion flip it. Gladiator's Legion, who in the very last second, that was definitely a palm sweaty mom spaghetti kind of moment. They invested so heavily to try and flip that point. It was extremely chaotic, very sloppy wow. stuff, but they do come out the winners, and now they will have earned enough ultimates in order to hold on for quite some time. That's kind of the catch-22. Do you try and use your bodies to stall this out, knowing that you're going to beat ultimate charge? Atlanta Academy decides to go that route. And so they're going to go ahead and go to the objective proper. They're going to round the corner. Graviton Surge is going to keep them off of the objective. Self-Destruct now getting into the back line. Does find a kill. Hawk will find a Panker who's unable to put that shield up. But it's still a 5v5 for both teams. Sound barrier now for Atlanta Academy. Gator trying his best to put in that damage. Earthshatter at the tail end of Transcendence. I like the timing, but unfortunately the contact was not made. But he's going to do it the old-fashioned way. Let's get two strikes in and then a nice fire strike. And Gator bringing Atlanta Academy back. This is up what we should be and I think the owl conversation for Atlanta Academy Gator he's a uh, he's chomping at the bit right now oh no yeah Gator's a total animal on this Reinhardt <laughs> Gladiators Legion, they just weren't quite expecting that aggressive of an engagement. It's very rare to see the sound bearer used in that way. And so now they have to come in with their last chance, shake off that fatigue, try and get value from this Earth Shatter because Dalton's close to that grab. He just needs some more time. He's got to get there, but that's the second time Panker has been uh, pooped away and the Earth Shatter becomes hyper telegraphed because of it. Two kills now coming in for Atlanta Academy. This is their fight to lose. They're primed to grab the second point and this first map win going up 1-0 against Gladiators Legion. Loving, loving the crouching. I, tactical crouching will always have its place in this game. Oh, <laughs> and yeah. I'm glad we're seeing it here in this play in game. It, it really is tactical. Nepal's cold, snowy climb. You haven't played recently. You got to keep warm, man. It's all about, you know, just, just being good to your body. But 
Atlanta Academy looking absolutely dominant there. Gladiators Legion, I certainly do see, you know, some of that endurance, that fatigue starting to show just a little bit because, you know, it's all good and well to come into these fights with confidence and aggression, but you also need to be able to execute. You could tell that maybe the resource allocation wasn't 100% as there in this matchup as it was against Fusion University. A lot of tanks kind of falling by the wayside here or there. And so now that we're going into the second map, last time Gladiators Legion lost the first round of control. They ended up taking us to King's Row and finished it with four minutes and five seconds in at the time bank. They did end up beating Fusion University on this map in just our last series. And so I expect King's Row to happen once more. So now that we're potentially going to our hybrid map, I, I, I don't see a world where we're not going to King's Row after their push from the last game. You know, that's a way to get some rest, push super fast, super early, and then let the other team work with what you gave them. Mm -hmm. And King's Row is a great place to flex your fragging zen. Wolf really showing up for Gladiators Legion in that last fight against Fusion University. But unfortunately, Atlanta Academy's Bird, uh, who is the word, as people in the know are very uh, familiar, uh, he was actually the one who was able to find, win out those head-to-head -head battles on Nepal. So while, of course, this map geometry will be favorable for your Zenyati, you always have to be thinking about, you know, what kind of advantages it'll convey to your opponents. Bird's got some control props, that is for mm -hmm. sure, because he was getting first bloods a ton as well today and yesterday. They just all, Atlanta and Gladiators Legion, I believe, are in this game because they're just not as consistent as the teams that beat them today. Both teams had tough losses that a couple of those games were pretty close. Atlanta played Envy harder than almost everyone all season. The only other one that you can really even slightly mention was Energy, you know, a couple weeks ago. But Atlanta took it to Envy with no fear. They're bringing that same type of mentality into this game, which I think is working out for them so far. Gladiators Legion, I think, need to take a little bit of a page out of that book as well and mm -hmm. come into this expecting to win. Yes, certainly prop up Panker. You know he's very capable of those massive six-man shatters. And you need somebody to be the tip of the spear to go be able to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe against Gator. Because this is a guy, if you give him an inch, he'll take a mile. And right now, Atlanta Academy has just been running rampant. Literally, Gator just kind of like W mouse ones in there. And if Gladiators Legion aren't actively pushing him back, he's just going to keep going. Mm -hmm. They're not even training for a marathon. They're training for that Iron Man, right? Mm -hmm. It's like it's going to have some bike and some swimming Decathlon and some stuff. running. And either one of those has got to be good, right? I think all the teams should really strive to have those kinds of looks. And so Gladiators Legion are not going to be playing that Widowmaker. was there just to scout to see what kind of team they want to come out of spawn with. And we're going to see Goats once more. Atlanta Academy going to start off with an amazing fire strike coming from Gator. We've seen 30%, 16% is pretty good too. That's, I think, three people with the fire strike being able to rip them. And now Gladiators Legion on the attacking side are going to have to walk into Atlanta Academy onto the objective. But another beautiful fire strike coming from Gator is going to make it a little harder. Yeah, 40% to a shatter. Funny Astro flying up high, looking for a boop opportunity as well. Atlanta Academy not really wanting to give up much space on this objective, even though Bijou does have this high ground right now. Gladiators Legion still searching for their first opening here. While Bishu is on the high ground, he's also taking a, a substantial amount of damage from a bird. Look at this, both Zenyatta's already close to those transcendences, but unfortunately for Gladiator's Legion, Rolf isn't going to have his in time to save the two members that go back to spawn, so this attack's going to have to wait for another push. A really nice boop and displacement from Gladiator's Legion to nudge Gator towards the choke, but he was absolutely ready for it. Already had that charge procced, charges back towards his team, takes almost no damage, and it actually opens things up for Saucy to find the second kill for Atlanta Academy. So, Gladiator's Legion, they're going to be, you know, not too disappointed with that first push because they now have that transcendence and rally to make things a little bit interesting here on the objective potentially stretch that fight out a little bit longer gator gonna get bishu onto the ground but that is it earth Tatter, i think it's canceled on for panker you see the stun stars right there gladiators legion now 
are running out of ultimates. They're gonna need this Graviton Surge to really make it happen for them. They have a Transcendence for Saucy's Graviton Surge. That's about oh it. At least they have the support Pass ultimates. Graviton Surge has virus. come out, and that's gonna be onto Gladiator's Siege, and they're gonna use the Transcendence by the car to make sure everyone is gonna be safe and okay. Bigger Bag not gonna going make real estate. Atlanta Academy now are gonna be the ones that have to use their support ultimates to stay alive, and Nerf, this came out from Pichu immediately after Bunny Asher was able to take him down. It's still a 4v4. This is actually pretty good for the attacking side. Is you know, on hybrid, the attacking side does have a little bit of a spawn advantage to start things off. Yeah. So now Gladiator's Legion can just wait back, sit on their heels because Atlanta Academy, the onus is on them to start trying to contest this. Two ticks now nearly for Gladiator's Legion. The sound barrier popped there. Maybe a little bit unnecessary, but nonetheless, Gladiator's Legion will be cleaning things up here. They really wanted the point. That's what that sound barrier tells me. Yes, it can be considered an over-investment, but in this situation where you're no longer, you don't have a safety net anymore. They're already in this play-in game. Try to go to Germany in the Atlantic Showdown for our third seed. And right now, you got to play your heart out. And Gladiators Legion trying to do that. Yes, again, it might have been an over-investment, but they did grab the point, and their time here continues. Exactly. They do have time to work Lude back up into that sound barrier. Rolf already has that transcendence for the eventual saucy grab, so Gladiators Legion aren't going to be too worried at all. Water, though, does have to watch out for his positioning. He has died first quite a few times. Graviton Surge now coming in from Dalton. There is a trance on the other side to counter it. Earth Shatter will come next, and will the trance be enough? There is the sound barrier for Atlanta Academy. Bird already getting that initial pick. Tanker almost going to take himself down by jumping away from the self-destruct, but now it's been even, and look at the health bars. It actually looks like Gladiators Legion have a little bit of an advantage. Self-destruct into the back line, only going to move the payload, and that's about it. This pick on the Sugar Free really opens things up for Gladiators Legion. Exactly. Water actually got joined by Bird coming forward, trying to get find that kill. And now Bird will find himself back in respawn. Rally pop for Water as well, just shoring up Gladiator's Legion so that they can find those kills without losing their own members. Yeah, Bunny Astro doing a little bit of some over-investment himself. He decided that they're probably not going to be able to compete again on streets. And he might actually be incorrect on that because I do think that defense might happen again. He put it all into that last fight, which means that Atlanta Academy doesn't have any support ultimates against a grab. So they do end up giving that second point away to Gladiator Legion, who have found themselves, I think, their home map here on King's Row. Exactly. An early grab as well here from Dalton. Just trying to make things interesting. A lot of people low, but Bird Zoom Yada's in in the very last second. Met by Wolf. Same transcendent. So everything set back to even once oh. again. But the later grab from Saucy does mean that Gladiator's Legion all incredibly low. Was that a second Earth Shatter coming from Gator? I do not know. Atlanta Academy now is going to have a self destruct. And the reason why all of these shatters are with it right now is the supports are playing so well, even though people are on the ground, the casualties aren't happening. You're seeing it with Gator right there. They are utility pack coming in from Brick, saving his life. That's going to provide an opportunity for Saucy to get into the front line, get into that damage area, getting those deeps in, and Atlanta Academy to finally stabilize. It's been a while, but they get there. Mm -hmm. Dalton pushed forward as the Hawks bomb ran into his back line, and unfortunately, he was all by himself. The rest of Gladiator's leader was forced to react to Hawks bomb, so it was easy pickings for Atlanta Academy to get that Zarya out of the game very quickly. And this is kind of that greed showing for Gladiator's Legion that has put them in, you know, very disadvantageous positions so far. We just got to see them play a little bit more discipline, go back to those foundations, don't overextend. Atlanta Academy has overextended in the past, but they've been playing so far now that they've stabilized here, and they're going to use a tempo down there to try to get the one up on the Earth Shatter. Bishu, though, going to find that kill and self destruct kill. He is Gladiator's Legion hero for the time being. But he's going to keep that payload going. Atlanta Academy will have an opportunity to defend, but a minute and six seconds left for Gladiator's Legion is looking all right for them. Yeah, Atlanta Academy actually had a pretty big investment in that last fight. They're down to the single Graviton Surge from Saucy. They need to find more time to draw out both of the rally and the transcendence from gladiators Legion, but they might not have the opportunity 
Gator already having the ally barrier used on him. He's done, it's gonna have to wait. Earth Shatter is there from Tanker. No one does fall down. Gator trying to race up to his. And now the sound barrier is actually gonna give Gator an opportunity to get to that sound barrier if he's able to stay alive. Hawk is the one that's responsible for the payload at the time. Self destruct will make things interesting, but no, Gladiator's Legion. They want this as boring as possible because they want to win this last fight the way that they like to do it. Atlanta Academy suffering tons of casualties. This is now a desperation stall for Atlanta Academy investing the transcendence, but is desperation going to equal some rewards? Graviton Surge now coming in from Dalton is potentially going to seal the deal, but with Sugar Free now getting that kill, it's not over for Atlanta Academy by any means. No, a big shatter coming in from Panko lays all the rest of the squirrely members of Atlanta Academy down on their backs. So, Gladiator's Legion will be able to complete King's Row. Trigger Free going on to the Ana for Atlanta Academy last second. You know, might, you know, a lot of people might question why that hero was chosen, but in these kind of desperation situations when I we don't have any ultimates, what can we go for, right? You have to try and hit that anti-nade, shut down Rolf's trance is one of your best options to force Legion back. Unfortunately, that's not what happened, but kudos to Atlanta Academy for kind of trying to see that potential future and working towards it. You could also see an a eventual nano boost come out and, you know, giving Gator, Hawk, or Saucy a little bit more life on the payload, but backs against the wall, no ultimates, not a horrible play for Atlanta. And 50 seconds isn't that much time in the time bank for Gladiator's Legion, especially compared to what they did in just their last game against Fusion University, their, you know, the eventual North America East champion. But Atlanta Academy, I'm, I, I want to see some fair, I want to see some Widow, but most likely we are going to be seeing Goats looking at everyone else. Trigger Free does play all of those characters he is highlighting, but Gladiator's Legion must feel really good about themselves having completed that map after going down on control. That's how you come back. They were able to do that against Fusion University, but now Atlanta Academy has a better chance of completing King's Row. There's only 50 seconds for Gladiators Legion than Fusion University did. So I'm actually going to give Atlanta Academy, I think, a better shot at finishing this match in this current matchup. Very likely, especially if you throw something out of left field like a sugar-free attack, May. You never quite know. This is a page right out of South America's book. Oh, I was getting so excited. Has worked in the past. Just look up the bestest. But <laughs> Atlanta Academy are going to go with the tried and true GOATS composition. Gladiators Legion. This is the hard line to ride. How aggressive is too aggressive? That overextension has bitten them right in the boot in the past. But they know that if Atlanta Academy aren't actively rebuffed, they'll just walk forward. And so everyone's trying to build up to those ultimates. The Zenyatas on both sides are pretty even for the time being. Atlanta Academy are going to have to walk into Gladiator's Legion. So usually what we see here is the defensive side moves back just like they are behind the corner while Atlanta Academy pops up shop on the objective. And Atlanta Academy are actually going to find a pick here. So this is going to be a potential point A take right away. Gladiator's Legion need to find a pick. If they want to stay in this fight, you can look to Bishu, Salter, or Panker to do that. But Panker's already back in spawn. They're already down so many members, Atlanta Academy will be grabbing the first point after getting up these kills. Bijou was on the right side, high ground ledge right there, a very common camping ground for Divas, especially since he was low, waiting to heal up. But a really heads up play from Gator. He throws out that fire strike, knowing that the Diva wouldn't be there to heat it up. And it finds water, takes him out of that fight. And sometimes you just gotta go for those plays. Keep your head in the game, be very situationally aware. And Atlanta Academy were able to take advantage of Gladiator's Legion's momentary lapse in attention. Dalton has grab. Bishu will have to self-destruct, but I only say that because it's all a consolation prize because they're looking at a full six ultimates for Atlanta Academy. Atlanta Academy cannot use all six here as the bomb lands onto the high ground and misses everybody. Bird once again trying to get into that damage in the back line. Graviton Search has already been used. Hawk's gonna eat the one from Dalton though, so they're not gonna have the best ultimate available for themselves to make any type of offensive push. Sound barrier is there just in case the self-destruct does find something. Someone, Hawk getting another kill after you grab your team is expecting that to come out. You told your team to grab, it's coming. They're already moving to 
to follow up on that grab, mm -hmm. and when it's just not there, it's so hard to overcome that. A uh, hawk more like a turkey. Gobble, gobble. Absolutely neutering Gladiator Legion's aggressive potential right there, sucking up Dalton's black hole, and that is just really, really unfortunate for Legion, because like you said, Boop, it was a massive investment. Consolation prize, though, is that Bird did have to throw out that transcendence to keep Gator alive in the bookstore. So, Legion can count on that ultimate being offline for a little while longer as they try and find a little more value from their owners. Well, McDonald's animals just wanted to learn how to read as another fight does come about right at the very end of the phase. Bird again Bird. getting another pick. I bet there's three crazy statistics for Bird because he's been getting first blood in a ton of these fights. It just opens up a world of possibilities for Atlanta Academy when your Zenyatta is fragging out like that. Bishu, respect the 1v1. I was very excited to see who would win in a head-to-head -head Bird v. Wolf duel, but unfortunately, it was Gladiator's Legion. Bishu swooping in. He finds the kill onto Atlanta Academy Zen, but that one kill does not a defense make. Now, Gladiators Legion themselves have to put up quite the stalwart defense to shave four and a half minutes off the clock. I mean, it really goes to show how impressive King's Row was for Gladiators Legion last time, because Atlanta has a pretty great pace, but it's still slower in the last game. But we'll talk, talk about the last game, because we're playing at this point. Graviton Surge is going to lock up Gator and his friend, Sugar Free, is going to get focused down. You actually saw a lot of Gladiators Legion really focusing in on that. Unfortunate for the self-destruct, though, there were members of Atlanta Academy in the back line on the ground with the Earth Shatter, but the quarter was just a little too big. Exactly. Wall's MVP right there in that last fight. Atlanta Academy, even down a member, still managed to bring things back with a well-placed bomb from Hawk. And now they are looking at quite a comfortable potential map finish. Both support ultimates online. Gladiators Legion with no tank ults of their own to even force a transfer bird. Yeah, Gladiators Legion already using Rally Gator. Do you see how much damage he took just because he was first shattering some environmental kills? Also almost just happened. We saw a diva get moved off a little earlier today, so anything can happen. Atlanta Academy is still starting off with first blood. They're in control of all of the fights because they have that tempo. Even though the return kill coming in from Gladiators Legion, there was enough time for them to continue pushing that advantage that one-man advantage and that's why you're seeing the sea of green coming in from atlanta academy on this last fight really great push coming from atlanta academy they are feeling it right now they had the tools they used them appropriately and they're going to have a much better time bank than gladiators legion over three times the same amount uh so i mean a lot of times we talk about well just don't layer your support ultimates forehead right but it's a lot easier said than done atlanta academy you know kept their heads in the game they never assumed that they were just going to be able to win out the fight with overwhelming ultimate advantage right you could tell that every time that they used an ultimate reactively they were weighing the pros and cons that risk and reward Gladiators Legion themselves just found a really unfortunate situation where they just had nothing. <laughs> Running on fumes, no ultimates, their bluff didn't quite work, and Atlanta Academy finish out King's Red. They're driving with the gas light on, and the exactly. car actually ran out of gas. Yep, yep, and then you just got to push that car on the side of the highway. Everybody knows exactly what happened. And so Atlanta Academy with three minutes and 15 seconds in at their time bank. Gladiators Legion got that minute, and that's enough time for one, maybe two pushes. A lot of teams have preferred to just put everything into one push, get as close to those ultimates as possible. So maybe, just maybe, in the middle of the fight on the objective, you do get up to those ultimates. Exactly, and in that chaos, that's oftentimes where you find the most value from ultimates like bombs. But Wolf gonna just take a peek, not gonna find the same luck as Gesture this time around. Atlanta Academy ready now. Gladiators Legion holding back behind the choke, actually, looking for that potential just one concerted push, like you said. I think with 38 seconds left, that's all that we're going to get. They were just getting their minds ready, getting those digits ready, those fingers, and now they're going to come in onto Atlanta Academy on the objective, and Panker's already very low. The Harmony Orb will provide healing, and Water will too, but Water has to be doing damage in order to provide that inspired healing for the rest of the team, and Atlanta Academy have actually pushed off Gladiator's Legion. Let's go ahead and check in on those ultimate charges. They're actually pretty even all the way across, but Rally available for Gladiator's Legion could be the tempo creator that they need 
lead with that damage mitigation because with nine seconds left, Atlanta Academy can't just let the armor run out. They have to fight within it. And Hawk and Gator already so low. Transcendence comes in just in time. Gladiators need you to do exactly what he said that they fight in the pregame. They are coming up on it. Those ultimates, the Graviton Surge is there. Baker still has Earth Shatter on the objective. He's already on it, the ground, but Atlanta Academy could have a very hard time defending with what they have because they don't have anything on the defensive side. Gladiators need you will be grabbing the first point thanks to some nice, patient, measured play. Patience at the appropriate times and all out damage at others. Gladiators Legion first. Atlanta Academy caught in that grab so quickly that gravity couldn't bring Funny Astro to the ground fast enough to lay in the sound barrier. That was a massive investment for Atlanta Academy in that last fight. And now they're not going to have any support ultimates to try and defend against what Legion throw their way. They just got to try and come in here aggressively on themselves. They have the figure bomb, a figure bang combo at the ready, but the, it's definitely possible for the momentum to carry Legion all the way through. Oh, big Earth Shatter. B Shoot Bob not going to find anything. Maybe the mech from a Hawk. They're going to find that another way. Rolf going to finally get that DP on the Hawk. But that is a nice Earth Shatter from Anchor going his best to cut into it. Look at this already. Dalton at another Graviton Surge. Won the last fight with it. He's going to have it for the next one. And looking at what Gladiators Legion has right now, they're going to maintain this advantage potentially grab this fifth point as well. Mm -hmm. Saucy used that grab really early on, and unfortunately, because of the Shatter from Panker, no capitalization. Atlanta only need one clean fight, and it might only come their way at point C. This is very dangerous territory. Atlanta definitely shaking in their boots right now. Bird at least will have that Transcendence Water. Going to go ahead and use that Rally Force to fight on at the payload because they're going to have that damage mitigation on the other side. It is not going to happen for Atlanta Academy. They need to race up to these ultimates. Things have slightly eaten up, but Dalton's got grab, and that's good news for them. They're going to go ahead and use it. There is no self-destructive combo with an Atlanta Academy. Going to go use that self-destruct in the back line. The shields are there. No one has died just yet. Earth Shatter now, but Saucy is going to get that first blood. Soundbear going to save everyone else in Atlanta Academy that is on the ground because of that Earth Shatter. Has Atlanta Academy stabilized? The ultimate for Gladiators Legion has been used, but with this pick, Wolf might have the opportunity to come back with the Transcendence. The rest of Gladiators Legion need to stall out to make sure that happens, but just in time, Saucy gets the Graviton Surge and locks this up for Atlanta Academy. Well, it's not really locking it up because there's only a minute on the clock, and they almost got five points, Gladiators Legion. So Atlanta Academy thinking with their over three minutes, like they're feeling good about it. Might be a little bit more nervous after that offensive push from Gladiators Legion. Three minutes to get one point, no problem. Three minutes to get two points, that's when things start to get slightly dicey. Very good play by Hawk. You throw out the bomb. Not only does it mean that Gladiators Legion going to have a hard time capitalizing off of Dalton's uh, grab, but you also crack the shield of Panker, and that allows for Saucy to find the kill onto a Reinhardt who is already very low HP and no defensive capabilities available. So Atlanta Academy making the best of a very poor hand backs against the wall once more. Now, they just have to return the favor on their own attacking round. Out. Gladiators Legion, though, going to be just a little bit nervous. They have bought themselves a lot of cushion, but you never quite know against a team as aggressive as Atlanta. Don't worry, we said it all in our heads anyway. Atlanta Academy <laughs> will be on the offensive side this time around. Sugar Free probably not playing the Widow Bird. You know, crazier things have happened. I feel like a person like Bird probably has the core. I mean, he has a pocket Doom Fist. That's awesome. Pocket Doom so. Fist. You know, pocket uh, Soldier 76 as well. Mm -hmm. Who says he can't have a pocket door? But now, I got a pocket, got a pocket full of widows. <laughs> and so they're going to go ahead and come out on and go. It's one can only hope. But this Goat Feast Goats matchup for these two teams has actually been pretty even on King's Row. And now Atlanta Academy, they have that time, but they also want to push it here really early on because they're able to grab this on their first push. That second point becomes much more believable for them to take. And now Gladiators Legion, they need to put up a defense. One or two stops here to gain a victory, but Gator got the fire strike kill onto Lude. And that's really bad news for Gladiators Legion because now on the objective, it's just a 65 and everyone from Gladiators Legion has to hide. They have to come back once 
right now because Bichu's already low. Baker is getting low somehow. Bichu is still alive in it. That neck does get to the health pack. I believe that where are you going to put the support? Are you putting it with Bichu? Are you putting it with Tanker? It doesn't really matter because the rest of Gladiators Legion are actually going to get the kills. Atlanta Academy were unable to actually confirm the kills onto Bichu and Tanker. Maybe a little bit as well as they're going to get pushed back. That was Super nerve-wracking for Gladiators Legion, but Atlanta Academy are unable to break through. Rolf, a hero for Legion right there, not just in terms of fragging ability, but that trans timing, getting an ultimate in that first fight. The flanking shatter! Down there is absolutely necessary for Atlanta Academy to try this push once more, and no one knew that Panker was using that shatter. He was behind everyone. That's why you gotta check your corners at home, friends. But now Atlanta Academy trying to do exactly what they did last time, and this is pretty much how it started. They did get that initial pick, but then rolled the rest of Gladiators Legion came right back. But two picks are a little bit harder to overcome. If you're Gladiators Legion, there's a little bit over a minute and a half left for Atlanta Academy. I think they will get a little bit of time after this caps. But now it's streets phase between them and two points. Bishu this time around was on the low ground. The first fight, the reason okay. Lude was cut down by that fire strike, Hawk was on the high ground taking all of Bishu's attention. That defense matrix is nowhere around to protect his team. This time around, he was on the low ground, but still, Atlanta Academy just piling so much damage that Legion are, were unable to absorb it. And now, Atlanta Academy, they have a well stocked ultimate pantry heading into streets phase. Five check marks already to Legion's single one. They are going to get to that Graviton Surge. They are going to have those two support ultimates as well. And so this is going to be a little bit closer than Atlanta Academy would want with what they have at their disposal. Funny Astro further away from the sound barrier than I think they would want. The support, even though they have five ults, the two that you really want is that Lucio and Zenyatta ultimate. Just in case something happens within that fight rally is going on. So going to use that grab. Grab going on both ways. Self-destruct as well. Will either find kills? The answer is no. Urge Shatter will be next. Tanker, the only one stunned. And so we had six ultimates for Atlanta, five ultimates for Atlanta Academy. Gladiators Legion had four, and none of them find any actual value. So the fight is just going to be good old fashioned goats, except that Tanker has the Earth Shatter. There is no defense outside of the South there. Oh, and now the Earth Shatter goes through Gator so low. Saucy having to use that self barrier, but there's actually kicks going both ways. This is a 5v5, and Atlanta Academy might actually be pulling this out. This is their last opportunity as we have entered overtime. Atlanta Academy are so close to grabbing that second point and that second map win. They do find the pick. Gladiators Legion got that one pick, and Atlanta Academy were able to make it a 5v5, and now they're slowly going to that green box of victory and potentially moving up to 2-0 and against Gladiators Legion at halftime, and that they do. Atlanta Academy feeling great so far, up 2-0. Uh, so unlucky again, Gladiators Legion. You can tell that they're calculating these plays, like the gif of, you know, the calculations going across simple geometry, Zach Galifianakis, but Water was on that left side corner as the payload rounded his way, set up a beautiful bash shatter combo, dies immediately. And unfortunately, Gladiators Legion are not Team Envy. They were not able to come back from that man deficit, and they fall now. Atlanta Academy up comfortable 2-0. And so before we get into halftime, I want to remind everybody that if you're confused as to who's going to get the number one seed out of North America, it's going to be whoever wins this game and the group that they belong to. So it's kind of opposite based on the region, but Atlanta Academy, we're on West. And, and so if Atlanta Academy win, then Envy is going to take that number one seed. If Gladiators Legion, um, who are on East, then Fusion University will be the number one seed. But Atlanta Academy have to win those last two maps against Gladiators Legion. Let's see if they're going to be able to do it after the half.